Hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. So, what am I doing here? Well, I'm, I'm making a cliff, right? If you've been following my series. Notice this mesh here. This is an uh, earth bag that's called Hyper Adobe and it comes in like a potato sack. Well, once you're done patting that down, it's ready to take uh, and hold mortar. So I don't know if that'll hold on, but uh, when it's pressed in there, it'll do that. These will not. The mortar will just come off of them. So this is a lot more hard work, earth bags. They're, they're heavier, I'll tell you that right off the reel. When you put barbed wire between the rolls, they're very difficult to move, um, where that can be readjusted in flight. So, but today my goal is one thing, and my goal is simply to get the uh, grid across these so that I can get ready to stucco. And I'm gonna be bracing it up with stones, getting things around. On your house, they have a lath system that these um, sit in. Let me grab one. All right, if this was my home, this would just have a grid system in it that would just simply accommodate the mesh. But it, it's not. So I have to spend some time bracing it up, getting it around, taking care of it, fighting it, fussing it. It's already irritating me so that I can put uh, mud on these things. All right, so that's what we're doing today. We're putting mud on these things. All right, there we go. Well, as you can see, it's a hard bit of business, but that's what I'm doing. Let me go ahead and get these on. So after I skirt that about, then I'll turn around and I'll put on a top piece and I'll have that ready where I can do the work that I wanna do. So that's the goal. What, do, what tools do I have? All right, so I have an angle grinder that I'm going to be using. I, I have a handful of old tent stakes that I'm going to be using. Out of curiosity, I've got some uh, T-post ties I'm going to be trying to use. All I'm trying to do is get that mesh around to where I can actually work with it. Uh, and it, it's got to be tight if it's all loose and wobbly then I know that it's not going to be tight and it'll pop loose so uh, if I get it all fastened down I'm gonna mix up the base all the way around and get it pressed in with the base so that I can build the rest of that and stucco it uh, as I go so let's let's go ahead and get that going this stucco wire there's lots of different kinds of it so these are uh, I could only find galvanized had I found stainless steel I would have bought that Again, I'm trying to build a thousand year home and stainless steel is forever. So, but this ended up being galvanized, uh, which doesn't make this wire forever. I wish it was. I, uh, later on in the video while I'm working, I don't remember the cost. I went and looked it up online. It was $120 for these galvanized or 27 inch by uh, eight foot. Um, I'm just using a, a cutoff wheel on a, a Ryobi uh, to cut these rather than snips or anything like that. And uh, as I wrap them around, I put them through the rebar. If you'll notice, I've got rebar going all the way through these bags and into the ground. Uh, but <clears throat> these need a lot more love than that. Uh, so, you know, the rebar was nice to at least get them staged in place where they stayed. And then each one I have to form. And uh, so uh, you'll see I, that's a sledgehammer, a little small sledgehammer I'm using to, to form uh, around all of the bends. And I wanted some sharp shelves uh, where I could mud stones into it, and I didn't quite pull off the sharp shel shelves. When you bend that stuff, it still leaves a radius. So um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use the wire wheel and cut off a few spots, bend up the wire, put in the stone I want. Well, this was a lot more work than the uh, Hyper Adobe. So talking about engineered dirt right there's lots of ways that you can engineer dirt rammed earth uh, every bridge you drive over in the uh, world is with engineered dirt fabric between layers of dirt packed down they're not solid concrete only the pillars are solid concrete they're engineered dirt so what you're looking at here is engineered dirt on this bridge abutment for this uh, Archimedes uh, bridge 
uh, that I built, Da Vinci Bridge that I built, <clears throat> which is a gravity bridge with very few fasteners. So, but I want the abutment to stay solid. So I'm comparing Hyper Adobe on one side, which is the potato mesh uh, red material, to Earth Bag. I just wanted to know which one's faster since uh, I'm building my house out of one or the other. <laughs> And I wanted to know for myself which one's superior. And uh, just this bridge was a perfect experiment. I'm experimenting with all of the materials I'm going to use on my actual house on this bridge. So uh, this uh, earth bag was very hard. So I never did get the uh, tent stakes to stay. I didn't get those little wires to grip. There wasn't enough uh, energy in them. So what I'm doing is taking the bent rebar that I have. This is probably three eighths uh, rebar, um, number four or whatever. Uh, but uh, I bought a bunch of it at a salvage yard. So I'm cutting out, um, if you will, spikes. And then wherever um, I'm driving it in and where this will just be good for the earth bag, right? It'll keep it from moving. But wherever I want that uh wire mesh to be tight and I'm talking tight against the earth bag I don't want a one inch floppy around to fling mud back out at me I know when I stucco this I want to just stucco it and be done and uh, you know I'm gonna have to stucco some places two three inches thick because the uh, way the wire mesh went around the earth bag now this will look good when I'm done it'll look like a cliff I like the organic vibe of it I like it meshed um, you know, if uh, maybe I'll do this someplace if I find out that the uh, appearance is way superior to the Hyper Adobe, but I doubt it. Uh, but the Hyper Adobe up against the house is definitely what I'm going to do. I've already bought it. It was uh, several thousand dollars worth of plastic bag, right? But I use my own materials, and it'll make the house EMP proof, bullet proof, uh, tornado resistant, flood proof resistant, fire proof. Um, it goes on and on and on. So. But learning how to do this uh, is what I'm after. So I got all the little pieces of the wire. Um, when I'm done with the leftover wire, I'm going to put over the bridge to make the bridge a perfect arch. I'm going to put that in concrete as well so you won't see all of those logs. They're just there for form. I'm really digging this uh, so far. So um, it took me a while to cut all of those um, uh, rebar and if you'll notice every other one I'm cutting at an angle so that there are uh, you know I got a sharp edge then a flat sharp edge and then a flat so you know all I'm doing is just making spikes right I'm gonna guess uh, 8 to 8 inches to 14 inches I whenever I find a bend I kind of use it to go bend back against the bag so even the bent ones have a purpose uh, the bends bend perfectly against the bag pulling the entire rebar and the, the wire mesh tight. Uh, the side there uh, to my right that you're looking at, those are going to be steps so that I can step down into if I want. But I also want a place for frogs, uh, you know, as the water recedes, goes up and down. I want wildlife to be able to park out there. I want them to be able to hide. Uh, you know, I don't know. I might put some sunken stuff underneath here to keep the herons and the uh, cranes from eating everybody up. I'm hoping this will be the last year this goes dry. Uh, every year it goes dry about October and January it fills up. Well, it lasts about 10 months. I'd like it to last year round. Uh, so that's my goal here. I don't think I made very many mistakes for a novice. The earth bag was very, very heavy. Um, it's wider. I don't think it's as stable as the Hyper Adobe, which was narrower. These are 18 inches wide or more. The Hyper Adobe was uh, 12 inches wide, uh, a little flatter, a little smaller. These are 7 inches thick on average, depending on how I tamped them. I also turned the bags inside out so the ears of the bags weren't sticking out to uh, fight me and flick my mortar away. Everybody complains about the ears on the bags. Just flip them inside out. All right, there's quite a bit of wind out here, so I hope you can hear me. So, um, I don't know, a couple hours to go get rebar, uh, three rebars, let's say uh, $9 a piece, $27 worth of rebar, plus the mesh, I don't know what that cost me. Um, the time, the aggravation, listen, the, the uh, <laughs> wind blew my camera down <laughs> so uh you know any place that it was um more than like an inch of flop 
I went ahead and drove a rebar in to tighten it up against the earth bag because I don't want to waste a lot of extra. Uh, the deal with this is I didn't waste anything. The, uh, the uh, mortar went right on to the uh, bag, right? Right on to the bag. This has got this weird little gap thing because the cage is uh, keeping the dirt away. I'm expecting to spend another 30% or more, maybe double, uh, mud on this one doing it. Uh, just really not very happy with the entire earth bag experience. I, I wouldn't do it again. I would do this in a heartbeat. This was a uh, hyper Adobe was so much better for me. Anyway, anywhere where there was a little flop, I put a piece of rebar in it. I mud it all up. I put in the stones similar to that, but kind of a different design. This one will have stones here and kind of wrapped around there. I might have to cut some things out with the uh, with the grinder there just to make stones fit. I'm prepared to do that. Down on the bottom, I've decided on this one, just uh, the first row to keep it all in line, I'm gonna pour concrete along this bottom just to tuck that in and uh, let that cure. I might even get that done tonight uh, just so that I have a running start on it for tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Again, I'm not feeling real good. Well, thank you for joining me. This is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So, uh, my comparison uh, between Hyper Adobe and Earthbag, uh, I'm just not ever going to use Earthbag again. If there was something way out in the middle of the desert and I only had potato sacks and I needed to do it, maybe. But uh, I can't see me pla deliberately planning to use uh, Earthbags. Flood control, I guess, would be a good purpose for it, right? To, you know, fill it up. Temporary. Temporary. But they were a lot harder to put up. A lot less stable. Um, this mesh took me two couple of two hours. Um, <clears throat> I'm still not happy with it. Um, but I went around the bottom uh, off camera and poured concrete all the way around the bottom. Now that is concrete. That is not stucco or mortar. So I went ahead and poured concrete around. Giving it a curb. What I want is this stucco to stay. Um, I don't want it to move around as I uh, as I mud it like that. Uh, that one I pressed the uh, pressed the um, mud in as I worked it. You know the stucco in. This I don't have any such thing. Uh, in addition, this shelf was a lot better shelf for stones. This one kind of disappeared underneath the curvature of the thing. So I'm going to have to cut some things and move some things. I'm going to put some stones there some stones there it's not going to be an exact copy of that but a partial copy um you know so when i get up to that high i'll, I'll cut some things out and, and make it work for me um anyway much much more difficult not a big fan got a little bit of leftover wire i'm gonna guess that was a 100 bucks i don't know you know i don't pay attention when i go to the store the rebar you know uh, three, 33 dollars worth of rebar a lot more time another whole day and a half if not two i think it was longer to put up the bags too so uh, i'm gonna guess that, that was three days to put up and st stucco and get to that state if i would have worked full eight hour days and that would be five days for me now maybe somebody could throw that up it's a lot longer than it looks it's 18 foot by four or uh, three foot high so you know it just turns and that deceives you into not believing that's a long wall it's a long wall <laughs> those are both long walls so uh but anyway that's my comparison uh you might love or you might know somebody that loves earth bags, or maybe they're just too convenient in your neck of the woods and hyper adobe's not. Um, there is a little premium to that, but when you wash it out, compared to rebar, barbed wire, all the things you need to control this, uh, that's a much better deal. So uh, like, subscribe, follow me along. And the next project, of course, will be to mud that. I'm hoping to get it done before the rain comes. Uh, and then I, I need to get the, uh, you know, that's just the Da Vinci bridge there hanging there. But um, I'm going to go ahead and concrete around it with an arch and just make it look nice. Uh, and uh, that'll be the next step that I do after I get these buttresses done. So like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.